G'day. In today's video, I'm swapping an iPhone XR's battery over with one of a company called Nohan, which have had very good results with them. This one has been opened up before, as its original battery had failed, and I've put in a temporary iPhone 8 battery. Now that I've got the XR battery, I can proceed to actually put in the correct battery from there. The iPhone 8 battery does physically fit into there. It's smaller than the XR battery and the connection is identical. This one does have a damaged screen, so we'll be swapping that over as well. The touch on it isn't working, so if you can turn off your phone, turn it off now. I have been using this heat, or heat, that three in one screen separator as my heat pad has failed me. It took quite a few years, but it has eventually done that. So from here, I'm gonna take out the pentalobe screws, the, screen uh, the battery spot itself should be mostly okay as long as you can use a heat source. But since we are dealing with a battery, do be cautious of it when you are opening it up and removing the battery. As removing the battery, you do have a chance of piercing it, which then can actually cause it to potentially explode. As we can see, we have an iPhone 8 battery by Nohan in here, which the customer says has been operating just fine. This one is a fairly rough looking iPhone. So I'd say it's copped a fair bit of abuse over its lifetime. Take that out. So first of all, it makes it easier if you do remove the screen. Most screws of which should be the same. This should be a tri-screw, tri-screw, tri-screw. We are missing two. And then a Phillips head one up here. Go. It's jumped up. And now I should be able to flick these off with my nail. One, two, and three. Mommy. There we go, so I'll take that away just for now. And then we've got this connection down here. It should also have three screws for it. So one. Two, and in your instance, it would be three. It comes out. So we'll take off the connection here. Now your phone may have pull tabs, which I find mostly on iPhones tend to snap and fail. And they're usually quite useless. So what I'd recommend using is some isopropyl alcohol, if you've got that, or get some. And dribble it down just this section and up high, and it should be able to work its way down the phone. This stuff usually absolutely eats glue, which makes getting the battery out considerably easier. And what I'm going to use here is what's come with comes with the Nohan iPad ones is a battery spatula. You should just be able to lift it out and off. Yeah, that has partially stuck. Well, that's my prior taping to keep the battery there. This one I'll take out of the way. So that one was an iPhone 8 battery, which the connection on the 8 and the XR is virtually identical. Not that I'd recommend using an iPhone 8 battery in there as the capacity of it will be quite down compared to an iPhone XR. But if that's all you've got, the, all that you can use at the time, then that will get you out of drama. Next up, having a look at the kit. Have this open. Now this isn't sponsored content or anything, it's just I've had very good results over the years with no harm batteries. So I trust them, I like them, they go just fine. In the kit we have some adhesive, various tools that I'm mostly not a fan of. Like these I usually just consider disposable, same as the tweezers. Suction cup needs to be a little bit bigger, but mostly I'm here for this, the iPhone XR battery. Take it out of its sleeve. Move that out of the way, whatever that bit of plastic is. And these still have enough adhesive on them, that this battery is going to stay there just fine. We'll be able to get it out if I need to. Put it down. 
push the connector down. That's one battery installed. Now I do want the battery disconnected while I reinstall the screen. So I'll disconnect the power from there. Just flick it off with my nail. And I'm going to put on a new screen. So from here, I'm good to reinstall. Typically I'll go here, here, then here with the reinstallation. So today will not be different. There will also be a little bit of metal joining here and here that slots over the shield. And then this one doesn't have one, then it makes it a bit hard to show with it. Go. There, one here. So do note the battery is still disconnected. Next up, display one, two. And there's a shield that needs to go on here as well. And it takes the tri point screws as well. Two, three, go. Now this shield down here. So I fold these up and out of the way. And from there I can get access down here. Screws in there. You will have another one over here and one up the top. As this is missing ones, I won't be putting those back in. But one, two, three. And from there, we kind of line it up and fold it over like a book. Should be able to push it in at the top first, work your way down, similar on the other side. And then from there, the two bottom screws can go back in. One and two. Now that's one iPhone XR with a brand new battery. Hope this helps you guys, and I'll catch you later. Bye.